Christmas. We are entering one of the most dangerous times of the year for drivers that New Year's Eve period. Unfortunately, law enforcement saying it does anticipate some who are impaired getting behind the wheel. So far this year, 432 people have died in alcohol or drug related crashes on North Carolina roadways. And WCNC Charlotte Shamaria Morrison is joining us live from West Charlotte to talk about the consequences of this major consequences, Shay. Yeah, it really is. Some of the few are just one. You can go to jail. Another license suspended. There are fines that you can get that are in the thousands of dollars. But the most consequential and the one that people who I talked to today told me about is the one that has someone taking someone else's life due to impaired driving. Law enforcement is cracking down on drivers who get behind the wheel under the influence. Number one, you know, know that we're going to be out there. There's going to be extra or enhanced driver safety checkpoints. There's going to be extra enforcement on the interstates and other places like that that are heavily traveled. State troopers in both South and North Carolina will focus heavily on the nighttime hours of New Year's Eve. The National Safety Council estimates 408 people may die on U.S. roads this New Year's holiday period. When we start looking at, you know, what causes the deaths in South Carolina on our roadways, speed and DUI, distraction, and people just simply not buckling up. And you know, it's a big thing. It also has big consequences. Every single tragedy has those ripple effects where it's not just the person impacted, whether they lose their life or whether they survive. But you say there's the immediate family, extended family, school family, church, community, workplace, um, these kind of, they leave scars that never go away. Mothers Against Drunk Driving says plan ahead to prevent a DUI. That includes having a designated driver, using a ride share company, or not drinking at all. We always have to come back to the same fact that alcohol related crashes or drug related crashes are 100% preventable. We could have zero this New Year's Eve if people simply just made the right decisions. It's a decision that can save a life. And you know the consequences of driving under the influence are very far reaching, even for people who are serving alcohol in North Carolina. In some instances, bar owners could actually be held responsible for someone who gets behind the wheel if they're visibly drunk. Shamaria Morrison, WCNC Charlotte. An important reminder, Shay, thank you for sharing that.